Hello, welcome to Carers Week. I'm delighted to be able to talk to you. I'm Paula Furnival, the Strategic Director for People, relatively new into Worcestershire uh, and been very welcomed by um, colleagues and people that I've, that I've met. Are you one of the six and a half million carers in the UK? That's about 10% of the population uh, and probably slightly more at the moment for uh, reasons we understand around the crisis. So some of you will be new to being carers. You may be furloughed or you may be working at home at the moment um, and lots of pressure for you to keep the day job going or worrying about things that are going on as well as having caring responsibilities. Many of you will also be long-term carers of, of family and friends um, and we very much um, welcome and uh, thank you for everything that you do in terms of supporting those, those loved ones and those nearest and dearest. The theme for Carers Week is about making caring visible. I think you can see particularly around some of the national press that there is a very strong profile and a growing profile, I'm delighted to say, around those who care. And certainly part of my role is, is to promote what you do and certainly to thank you for what you do. Um, we're asking, and there'll be some contact details at the end of this video, for people to make a pledge for carers. So in times of great crisis, as we're suffering at the moment, we've seen lots of kindness, compassion, neighbourly support and looking out for each other. And we want people to look out for you because caring is a huge responsibility. Two of the things that the County Council is doing in conjunction with its partners and particularly the Worcestershire Association for Carers is we've extended our carers advice line. You can ring us up whether you're a professional or a carer and we will seek to support you around financial issues, practical support, who can you talk to, advice advice and information. And one of the other things we're doing as part of our pledge in the County Council is we're issuing a charter for carers to help people who are members of staff and who work with us to be able to carry out that caring role in a way that supports you to be a carer and doesn't mean that, that the work-life balance is, is too adjusted in the favour of work really. Um, and we very much welcome your input and feedback into that um, and we're very happy to adjust that as it goes on. As I say, that will launch in the next week or so. So, so thank you for being a carer. Please don't be alone in those caring responsibilities. Please use the services and the expertise that's out there. Thank you very much.